Hi, I'm Sean McCourt. And I'm Lindsay Northen. Welcome to another costume edition of Behind the Emerald Curtain. There are over 400 custom-made costumes in Wicked, and it takes an expert team to maintain them in the midst of eight performances a week. Join us as we meet the folks in the wardrobe room, and they take us through a day in the life of a costumer. Alice Gilbert is an amazing wardrobe supervisor. I'd worked with her before. I had to have her on Wicked because I thought she's the only person who can understand the complexities of a monkey costume and a mask all the way to the most delicate beaded piece of chiffon. I think in many ways Susan was happy because I had done a lot of shows over a long period of time and so there were things that I could have input about in choices that you might want to make to make it easier to maintain the show over a long period of time. What the fabric is, what the texture is going to be. Alice takes every single piece of fabric that I choose and in something like Wicked there's over 2,000 pieces of fabric. She takes her nail and she digs into it to make sure that it is going to survive. For her, survival is the key. I call it the Alice test. These clothes do eight performances a week. They live through sweat, water, fire, performance after performance, and they have to stay as beautiful from the very first day to the last day that they have on stage. It's an unbelievably difficult life for this costume. For wardrobe to do the show, there are 12 dressers, plus myself and the assistant, and we have four to eight people doing day work, depending on the day of the week. They are there before, during, and after every performance doing a kind of triage, whether or not it's a tear, or a dropped bead, or a loose connection. The whole team of people are prepared at any moment to jump in to fix something. Who the costume would see through the day, if it were a, a single costume, there'll be four or five people dealing in the world of any individual costume over a day's period. In the morning, uh, early would come the day workers. If there had been something that had happened to it the night before, we have some day workers who will like burrow into the costume because some of these things are 16 layers. When it's time for it to appear in the show, the dresser will put it on the actor. The actor will wear it, the dresser will pull it off the actor and it will go back on the rack and the dresser will bring it back downstairs. Everything will be looked at every day and of course everything will be worn every day. So it's the constant wearing of the clothes, plus even the handling of the clothes. In fact, they go on and off the hangers, they go up and down the rack, the racks go on the elevator, racks go uh, back and forth. You have constant opportunities for abrasion. The craft of doing wardrobe is indeed, you are dealing with something that has originally been made totally by hand. 10, 12 people have their hands on a dress. There's no mass production here. It is something that can only be done in a one-on-one -on -one basis. You and the costume right there. I know that Alice Gilbert will always be there for every second of every show. So I know they're always gonna look good. 